add the pixie powder or add the powders and then add the water. So it's like color burst with mica. It's with mica, yeah. Okay. I don't know that. Oh, okay. Great. But um, I like to do it where I add the powder first because then it can control the look when I add the water. Right. So you just have to tap it onto your design. And you can mix like whatever colors you want. I've been doing these too. Then I can just add my spray. So I don't go too close because I want just a fine mist initially. Just to see, you can see how the colors are starting to. Do you have to set these when they're dry? No. They have to fix it in them? They'll just set. So now I have that and if I wanted I could add some more color. Because maybe you didn't like that combination or something and you wanted to add a little yellow like I did there. And then you could just leave it because it's already wet, so it will dry like that. Mm -hmm. Or you could add more water and let it run and mix all together. It depends on what you're going for. What are you doing? And they're easy to use because they're it's it's a nice um, you just get a little bit out of your oh. small mm -hmm. tip. And then if you want, you can just like ink your head. You can also stamp with it, so just ink up your stamp. What? With your, yeah. So just, you, get a, you can see it on your stamp, so. It does dry fairly quickly. Does so. it do good tone on tone? Uh, so then if I had my position it, I could add another tone to it if mm -hmm. I want to, yeah, just in the center or something. I, it dries fairly fast, so you, if you wanted to, you, see, you can see it's pretty Oh my gosh. If you wanted to add um, like sparkle to it, yeah. then if you had your position ed or a stamping tool, you could then go over it again with like a Versamark and add like a sparkle embossing powder and then you'd have a very pretty design.